Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking and thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm doing your April readings. So I will be extending these readings. It will be a Celtic cross. I will be extending these readings on to Patreon. So those of you that are already on Patreon, thank you for your support. Um, those of you that are interested in purchasing a one-off extended reading, you can always go to my website. I, I will have the address beneath the video where you can purchase one remote video. All right, those of you on Patreon get all the signs for free, the extended readings, I mean. So I will be taking a lot more cards and I've got a, a different deck that I will be using today, um, which is going to be a different message. We've got four cards here. It's just like four aces. They each have their own interpretation. I will be introducing this deck to you slowly, but it does give us a very important message. So that will be, of course, at the end of the reading. Um, on the extended, I will take uh, more cards. So I think I will leave it there. This is a general and love reading. So I want to thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, supporting and commenting, of course. So uh, let's go on to the signs. Hello, hello, dear Virgo. Welcome to Divine Debut. Thank you so much for being here. This is Kathy bringing you your April general and love reading, Virgo. So let's see what's going on in April. Now this is Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, Virgo Rising, Virgo Venus in Virgo, Mars in Virgo and North Node in Virgo. So this, as I said, is a general and love reading and it's for the general public. So take the messages as they resonate for you. Dear Virgo, we are extending this reading through Patreon. So those of you that are already on Patreon, thank you for your support. You know that for a small price, you can get to view all the extended readings. Plus more, you get to go into a... Uh, free giveaway three free giveaways we we give a month so those of you that are interested in connecting with me through patreon you can check the description box below now those of you that want one extended reading for your own sign let's say you can go to my website and purchase one off reading Okay, and again, the address will be beneath the video in the description box. So Virgo, what's going on? Three of Wands. You've been waiting for those ships to come through. What's going on in general? Virgo, you're at a point of expansion. If you're waiting and you've been working really hard and you've been waiting to see those ships coming through, I see that you've been battling. You've been using your wit You've been very creative. And let's see what will be coming in for you. So for Virgo, this could be in love, what you desire and what you create, whether it's your livelihood, whatever it is. Okay, so thank you, Spirit, for Virgo. What's going on in the month of April? Your challenge is the Seven of Cups. At the foundation, the distant past, we've got the Queen of Swords, Libra. Libra energy as well. Queen of Swords could be any other air sign, I suppose. In the recent past, we have the Four of Swords. So a point of inaction, maybe needing to also heal, heal that broken heart because there's been something uh, concerning a conversation, tough words, um, a sense of logic or no logic in the past. Remember the Queen of Swords, she keeps that stance and she speaks her truth. Now, usually she's the divorcee, so what are you trying to heal from? What's on your mind? What's crowning you? You've got the sun. Some of you may have strong Leo energies. Or you're dealing with someone who's got strong Leo in their chart. Now, the sun is clarity. 
it's creation, it's risk taking, it's flirtation, fun. Children. Okay, so the sun does bring healing as well. And the sun is very generous, just like Leo. Leo is very generous. They give love um, wholeheartedly. They give from their heart. Leo is the heart, remember. So what's in your near future? We've got the Hierophant. And the Hierophant, which is Taurus, of course, the Hierophant can speak of marriage, restrictions, family, um, limitations I see as well because I do see the Hierophant in this in this deck which is the modern spellcasters tarot I do see it as limitations dogmas restrictions needing to bow someone needs someone wants respect so could it be anything to do with governmental issues uh, marital issues I do see it if this is a marriage it's a very narcissistic marriage now this has got to do with career because remember leo is the house of creation the hyphen can be um something that it's a form of climbing the ladder or trying to break the code to get into a power of position remember that the hyphen is also a leader so if someone demands respect um i do see it also as Hold on to your beliefs and remember that if there's been no value in a marriage or whatever this is for you, then Taurus is where Uranus is transiting and Uranus can be fluctuations where money, values, those five senses, the physical body is concerned. If there's no love, then there's no moving forward with this, whatever this is. Okay, and I do also see it, I don't know why I want to say that big brother is watching, I feel that someone is spying on you, dear Virgo, we've got the eye here, okay, let's see, in the position of you, and we've got, again, the strength card, Leo, now the strength card is a card of courage, it's a card of trusting, trusting in your higher self, believing in yourself maybe even wanting needing to be patient okay how i see this is that the divine feminine can steer the this wild beast and the wild beast can be be someone's longing um remember someone's longing to lead leo is also a leader so i'm just wondering if there is competitive energies between you and a partner or you and a boss, because the Hierophant could also be a boss. Let's see what's surrounding you. We've got the Hanging Man, so there's a bit of a hold-up here. Remember that Pisces can be illusion, it can also be unconditional love and sacrifice, uh, but it can also be the ending of a major karmic cycle. Is it unconditional love, or is it, what is it? Remember, dear Virgo, Sun and rising Virgo, you have Neptune in your seventh house of Pisces. So it's either you're dealing with a divine love or a spiritual connection, or there are illusions and deception around it. So just be careful with the Neptunian energy with Pisces. Now just on that note, as I'm doing your reading, end of March, um, your ruling planet Mercury is in the sign of Pisces and it just conjoined with Neptune so someone's trying to find out the truth they're trying to figure out if this is an unconditionally and spiritual um, unconditionally loving connection or if it's a spiritual connection or if it's some form of an imprisonment dear Virgo that you would need to get out of some form of a major cycle ending a karmic cycle what's your hopes and fears and you've got the emperor, very similar, very, very similar. Now, the emperor is in your hopes or fears. And we know that the emperor uh, can be very, very dogmatic as well, um, very passionate, of course. But also, this is a leader. Remember, I spoke of leadership. So could there be competitive energies here? And you're hoping for someone 
that could uh, be your emperor or some of you are hoping to take on the throne and be the leader yourself. So, you know, building your own empire. What's the outcome? And we've got the Seven of Wands. Now, Seven of Wands can be many times it shows someone needing to fight uh, a situation, someone who's been successful at some point, whether it's business, whether it's what they desire, who they want to melt with, come together with. Remember that the Six of Wands is a card of recognition and you're at the Seven of Wands, dear Virgo. But it can speak of a little bit of ego, that Six of Wands. Remember the Leo uh, energy, the shadow side of Leo is um, because I'm very recognizable, I'm very famous, I'm very fortunate to be well known, I could be carrying vanity along with me. But the Seven of Wands in this deck uh, says that, you you know, the, the, the gains and the power and the recognition and the success, you've got it in your pocket. Easy peasy. Okay, and I do look at the stance. Look at the pride here. Or you're dealing with someone that is doing that towards you. Seven of Wands. Okay, he's stepping on those six of wands like he's got it. He knows that he is popular. He knows. But also on another level, this says that You've got the upper hand and whatever you're fighting towards, um, again, you're on the higher ground. What's at the bottom here? And we've got the Nine of Swords. So general energy speaks of a lot of stress, anguish, anxiety for Virgo. Could it be relating to an air sign or maybe a narcissistic uh, marriage? Remember, the Queen of Swords holds that Ace of Swords. You've got the Nine there. You've got quite a few worries here. Wow. We've got some cards and this is the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Let's see what came through for Virgo. We've got the Three of Pentacles. We have the Well-Deserved re Reward, Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Emperor, which is taking the lead. We've got the Empress. Oh my goodness me. We've got the move, Virgo, and which is the chariot, and we've got the believe and succeed, the six of wands. <laughs> we've got 12 pentacles here, which equal the hanging man. So your sacrifices, your love, whatever you've given out, will give you um, a very good partnership here. We've got the emperor and the empress together. It's funny how um, the Emperor seems to show up and we've got the Emperor twice. Virgo, you are dealing with someone that is a CEO, someone who is a leader, someone very successful. Okay, but you're as equally successful with the Empress. Okay, and in their eyes, you're um, at an equal level. Now, I'm going to say, you could be dealing with two different people. Why? Why do I say that? Because... The Hierophant um, could be a marriage, um, doesn't have to be. Not everyone is dealing with two people. Now here, there's two cards of movement. Well, no, this does show a boat, so it reminds me of the Six of Swords, but it's the Six of Wands, which says you are going to be successful. I feel that some of you are going to be moving over water. We've also got the chariot here, so the chariot is where you're being put in the chariot and you're off on your way let's see what's at the bottom here and look we've got the heart here so you're overcoming any obstacles where your love life is concerned maybe even moving to a new home where you're going to love it there and you're going to take your throne next to your emperor someone who is here someone that you could also be fearing and we've got the um full card and it's saying that you need to trust, trust in the process, dear Virgo. Wow. And this is in love. But some of you, it's either the emperor, which needs to be single, because we've got the three of pentacles. This could be, you could be working with the emperor, let's say. Or this could be just, it's a three. And threes always speak of expansion, as is the empress. What's beneath that nine of swords? 
We've got the Two of Cups. Two people I see in this spe modern spellcaster's tarot. I see two people uh, of different color, which means they're coming from different areas of the world, different religion maybe. Okay, but um, this is a communion between two people and there's a lot of worry around it. Yes, it's a soulmate connection. And we've got the King of Cups here. King of Cups is usually someone that's open to love. Could that be the third person? Because we've got three cups here. And King of Cups is in your past position. And the Ace of Cups. Love started in the past. So let's take more cards and see what's going on for Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Believe and succeed. Both people have believed, even though they may have gone through challenges, they were able to take those reins and take their life to where they wanted. That could be physical travel as well. Okay, so let's see what's going on, Virgo, in April. So we've got the ring, Ace of Wands. It is a number 25, which equals a 7. We've got the card of stability, the anchor, which means marriage. That's the Nine of Swords. So there's been a, a worrisome situation around your stability, also a marriage. Look, we've got the eleven, and we've got the um, we've got the whip here, and it's a number eleven, which speaks of divorce to me because there's been too much conflict. Okay, too much conflict, and we've got the knight, the knight of wands, and the knight of wands could be also someone who's quite playful. Or Knight of Wands could be someone that's taking action and moving towards what they want to desire, what they desire to create. Again, Sagittarius energy could be a foreigner. Let's see. And we've got the fish and we've got the King of Pentacles, dear Virgo. King of Pentacles and it's a seven, another seven. And we've got a lot of abundance here. Financial, emotional abundance. But it comes after that portal after you walk through that portal, that challenging choice that you need to make. Because if there's been an injustice in your commitment, in your marriage, in your contract, that's been blocking you. It's been blocking you. What's at the bottom here? And we've got Seven of Cups, which is in your challenge position here. This is a number five, which is the Hierophant, and it speaks of family. But, the you know, the tree can speak of health. Um, that, yes, yeah, Seven of Cups, again, Pisces. Pisces can also speak of your spiritual health, okay? A spiritual connection where there's been illusion. But also the tree can also speak of those roots running very deep. So it speaks of a spiritual connection plus family. Maybe family was in the way, maybe a marriage, maybe even children were in the way of this spiritual connection. So let's take a Black Moon Astrology card and see what's going on because you're on a new cycle. You're at the zero. You're at the zero. The Aries card, could it be in the time of Aries? I suppose it could be. Remember that the Emperor is Aries Taurus for me. Could be Aries season, Taurus season, I'm going to say. Where you're beginning a brand new cycle in love. You're willing to take a chance and go on that adventure. Let's see for Virgo. We've got Virgo, I analyze. Now Virgo does analyze. Um, Virgo needs to strategize, to plan. Uh, Virgo can also be the house of health, remember. I want to take one more card because the Virgo card doesn't really tell me that much. Um, because you are Virgo, let's see what else we have. This is all about the details, Virgo. Maybe you're planning a move. Maybe even a different job with the uh, Virgo is the house of health. It's also your daily routine. And we have water element and sensing. And it's a number four, just like the emperor. Water element, so you may be dealing with someone that's got strong water. We did have that King of Cups, which King of Cups is usually Scorpio, right? We've also got Taurus here. We've got Aries. We've got Libra. We've got Leo, strong Leo, Pisces. 
and a bit of air. Well, I did say Libra. So let's see what else we've got because here we've got the Empress, Libra Taurus again. We've got Nine of Pentacles, which is your, your card, Virgo card. We've got Cancer and we've also got, yeah, more fire here. Let's take another layer of cards and at the end of the reading, stay with me, I will be taking a, well, these are all aces, but they're also the elements. So we've got a diamond, we've got an emerald, we've got the ebony, crystal, rock, um, the ebony, which means earth, emerald means water, okay, diamond means air, and the ruby means fire, okay, so we'll see, and I will be taking those cards, one card, to see what is the potential here, what can happen and what may not happen. Let's see what's going on. Two of Cups, remember, down here. This could also be a partnership at work. Some of you could be moving and you are very ferocious. You are very creative. You are a force to be reckoned with, Virgo. Now, water element and sensing. Water means emotional but it also means psychic. So uh, the Virgo card is an 18, which does ring the moon. The moon can mean deception. It can also mean fears. But the moon is also Pisces, Cancer. Also being very motherly. Not letting your fears hold you back. In the Three of Wands, we've got the Five of Wands. So Eight Wands, there's conflict around... Is that ship going to come through finally, says Virgo. So eight wands, maybe because of the lockdown, the ship cannot come through. Maybe because of the so-called pandemic in the world, the restriction, the limitations. Why do we have things up in the air with that seven of cups? Why are things up in the air and why is it in the challenge? We've got the knight of cups. So someone doesn't know what to do. Do they stay? Do they do they stay? Do they go? Remember, we've got eight cups here, but this is an, a love offer that comes through unexpectedly. Someone could be fighting with their emotions, with the choice that they're needing to make, if they're going to be able to come forward or not. Knight of Cups is riding a fish, so that's Pisces. Maybe the challenge is for this Knight of Cups to come forward so that the door can open to many doors. Let's see why we've got the Queen of Swords at the foundation. We've got the Ten of Cups. So the Queen of Swords is obviously ending a major cycle. She once was happy, I'm going to say. So in the distant past, she felt some bliss. She felt happiness. But that cycle has ended. Maybe her cups are all spilt. That's why we've got the Four of Swords here. Show me the Four of Swords in the recent past, please, Spirit. We've got the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, someone that did not show emotion. It's more about what they desired to, to do. Maybe someone that travels. Maybe, maybe someone that's on the road all the time. Someone needs to take a break here. Take some time out. Maybe burning the candle at both ends, dear Virgo. Maybe you or the other person. Why do we have the Sun card here? We've got the Eight of Cups, which I've already mentioned here. Someone needs to be able to see the light. That if they don't leave a situation that made them unhappy in the past. Okay. That if they don't add fun to um, their life, it's not going to behoove them. Okay, Eight of Cups is someone that could not find their happiness. Now, I don't know if it's you or if it's another Leo that you could be dealing with, dear Virgo. But Eight of Cups is there. And usually the Eight of Cups for me is a very uh, big card of spiritual growth. Okay, someone is ready to go on that journey. They're looking for those Two of Cups. What they don't know is that the Two of Cups 
they already found those two of cups but maybe they know and they needed just to leave something in the past that did not make them happy Virgo this could be your energy as well so let's see why we've got the Hierophant in the near future and we've got the Queen of Wands so again the Leo energy we've got Queen of Wands and we've also got the Knight of Wands and the Emperor they do match up where passion is concerned now Emperor as I said for some of you it could be maybe even a past partner that you could be fearing someone who does not show their love um, we do have Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands Knight of Wands usually the player could the Divine Feminine be a little bit more experienced um, for some of you but I also see both the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands De Virgo, some of you may have uh, Leo in your chart I've got Leo Moon so some of you could have let's say your Venus you know behind your Sun in Leo those of you that are Virgo Sun and Virgo Rising right so Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords they've got the same uh, stance they, they seem quite decisive so let's see because in the position of you is Leo as, as well as the strength card what's going on with the position of you we've got the two of wands so waiting on some news we've got a little bird here we've got a little bird maybe you want to see the card closer thank you as you could see this could be communication this could be hearing something from a little bird someone telling you something where maybe this helps you make a choice if you're trying to um, walk through that doorway remember we've got the the whip here which is an 11 and the two of wands two of wands is maybe even someone else making a choice but there's conflict around it remember we've got the three of wands the two of wands and the five which is right here okay three and five that's eight wands eight wands do i travel to go to my desire do i go and create do i send out those messages of love what do i do so again the choice is here and this can this communication or any news that comes through could help you um, decide on what you're going to do you or the other person because remember that both the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands, they carry a wand each. But is there enough trust? If both people are wanting to take that risk and take that leap forward, moving towards a divine union, is there enough trust here? Let's take the Hanging Man, which is in your environment. We've got the Four of Cups. Stagnancy someone worrying about their home i would say here worrying about their child don't know if they can do it or maybe this is just someone that sacrificed too much for their home and they haven't had a life let's take the emperor because he's very closely connected to this um, ending of a karmic cycle remember the emperor is a number four as well We've got the Five of Cups. So we've got the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups. So Nine Cups, a wish fulfillment, but I feel there's scattered energy with this Emperor. Remember that the Five of Cups is don't focus on the past, but look at what, what is behind you. Change your perspective. Let go of regrets, having lost time and energy. Looks like someone needs to overcome any worries any pain of the past let's see what that seven of wands is about and we've got the queen of pentacles here so we've got three queens everyone three queens can speak of gossip it can speak of three partners three sisters queen of wands is your energy dear virgo looks like you know your worth and you've taken that stance and i see you in three different lights here What's at the bottom of the deck? 
And we've got the Eight of Swords. Again, worry. Virgo is a worry wart. And we've got a card that I was going to take on the Nine of Swords. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is bringing changes in. Okay? This is a form of, I mean, it's the Wheel of Fate, which is all about divine timing. It's a cycle ending, but it's also worldly travel. It's your dogmas, your ideas. Sagittarius says Sagittarius needs their freedom and um, to be able to move, to, to go towards your desire, your truth. That is what Sagittarius is all about. And don't forget that the south node is in Sag, which means you may have been dealing with a dogmatic, karmic situation that you've needed to shed either you or the other person. So, as I was saying, you need to trust, you need to trust, dear Virgo, that Ace of Pentacles that you're holding in your hands. Remember that the uh, the Queen of Pentacles is also the Empress. It's the Minor Arcana of the Empress. So that's really interesting there. I was just shuffling, I don't know why I was shuffling. Let's see what's at the bottom here, and we've got the Ace of Wands which means the desire to create. The light comes on. There is passion. There is desire here. Okay. And also a new beginning in maybe even a creative project, which can bring you a lot of abundance. Okay. Believe in yourself and you can succeed, whether it's becoming the empress to the emperor or it's whether uh, it's that you can be abundant on your own and then obviously you you will feel safe and secure and you for some of you dear virgos some of you could be just you may not be ready to take that leap of faith yet you may be searching for your emperor someone to match you so okay i'm going to now take my special cards to see what the message is i need to um, tune in thank you spirit for Virgo what's going on for Virgo I mean what are the odds um, and I'm going to be extending this reading as I said so I will be looking very importantly at your environment position here uh, more on the emperor I will be taking one layer on all the positions but this position is worrying me a little bit um, so Let's just see, let's just see for Virgo, please, Spirit Virgo, what are the intentions here? What are the possibilities, Virgo, in April? Virgo. Wow. <laughs> Wow, Virgo, that is the most abundant pentacle. That is the diamond. That is the Ace of Swords, okay, which is a tool, obviously. Ace of Swords is, it's a card of victory. It's a card of epiphanies. It's a card of severing ties with any pain and hurt in your life. I was tossing between reversing this card or taking it upright. Now, I've done a few uh, signs already um, no one got this Virgo so I do see financial abundance um, riches this is gold this is wealth okay this is sure success um, and a lot of abundance remember that the ace of swords though you need to use your intelligence your logic and um, use it use it in the way you are holding it here in your foundation remember that the diamond is a very rare stone okay it's very rare and in between and that's what i feel this connection is all about it's a very um what's the word it is a very, I mean, love and money. I mean, it's, it's the pinnacle of bliss. It's more than the Ten of Pentacles. It's more than the sun. Uh, remember that a diamond, diamonds are formed at the base of a volcano. <laughs> uh, 
and the volcano obviously erupts where there is a lot of passion. Now here with the Ace of Swords, it does speak of truth as well. Um, but I do feel that there is a lot of wealth in this connection. So whatever you are doing, dear Virgo, if this is a business, you've got a diamond in your hands. Whatever you're creating, it is a diamond. And I'm going to say this is also a connection or a marriage. Remember, it's an ace, so it's a potential with the work that you will be doing, obviously. The potential is to reap the rewards of feeling abundant on all levels. Now, for some of you, it's going to happen quickly. For others of you, it's going to happen a little bit down the track. But I love your reading, dear Virgo. I will be extending this, of course, and looking a little bit more into what's going on. Okay, so I want to thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. Remember that you had the King of Pentacles here. You are the Queen of Pentacles. You've got the card of the fish here, which speaks of abundance. Don't lose hope. If you've been working and working and, you know, pushing the pedal and not getting anywhere, it's going to come through more than what you expected, so better than what you expected. There is a lot of abundance here. And with a fish, where is the fish? There it is. It's going to happen unexpectedly, okay? So... Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. And those of you that want to join me on Patreon, um, you are more than welcome. A lot of you know that you do get your money's worth there. It is more worth you joining Patreon, even on the first tier, where you get all the extended for the price of purchasing one, one off, a one-off video from my website. So Virgo, love you so much. Thank you again. Good luck.